Sage of Sorrows here with an anime recommendation for Kill la Kill, Godlike, from uh, Studio Trigger that brought us another amazing anime, Gurren Lagann, came at us with this masterpiece. Like, where do I begin? Just so many points of this I just liked. Oh, man. From the twist and turns of the... <clears throat> Sorry, I have to... I have to really think specifically about this because just all in all, I just like this series in so many aspects. But, uh, yeah, from the twist and turns from, like, oh, first of all, I should probably start out with the main character's name. Ryuko. My toy. But, uh, yeah, that's her right there. And she is wearing Kamoi Zenketsu, which is her clothing. But, and then she has her half-scissor blade there. You'll learn all about this if you have or already, you know, if you bleh, bleh, bleh. if you already want to watch it or if you want to watch it. If you didn't watch it, what are you doing? And if you did watch it, oh man, if you don't think this is amazing, I don't know. Like, the fighting is good. I like the unique animation about it. Like, it's got that, like, gritty type feel. I like all the characters. They're freaking awesome. You got Mako, Mak, and Shoku. Which is like, just, <laughs> just the uh, funny person. You got uh, Satsuki, who is pretty much Ryuko's arch enemy. But, you know, things change there that you know, you'll see later on in the story. It's just so good with the twist. But, uh, yeah, and with, uh, <clears throat> sorry about that, uh, Satsuki and her Elite Four, all those characters are really good, the interaction with characters are good, and I don't know, I could see a lot of people having uh, trouble with the nudeness in this series, but it's a series about verse and clothing mainly, so like I don't see the problem in the nudeness, it's not like you got super big boob chicks put in sexual situations, I think they do it really good like all throughout the series, like it got to the point where I was just like, oh you know, it's nudeness, you know, like I feel like they went around the nudeness in a very good way. That it all made sense, really. Because they didn't, like, over-sexify any of the girls. Like, there was moments when they would blush and stuff, but that was about it, really. But you had glowing nipples guy, Ikaro. But, <laughs> you'll also see that once you watch it. Or if you have, you know what I mean, Mr. Glowy. But, uh, that was the only part I thought was weird, but that's just, like, the comedy thrown in there. But, yeah, like, all around with it, it was just natural, really. Like, to be honest, with the feel of it, its clothing, you know, it gets torn off when defeated and everything else. So the newness was well-placed, I thought. But yeah, enough about that topic. But, uh, yeah, from the twist about halfway through with the revelation about uh, Ryuko's dad, her relatives, who she's related to, and then ultimately switching what you thought was going to be the main enemy the entire time to something far more greater and on a grander scale. And it all ends and comes crashing down quite literally with a fiery, sad ending that had me like, wow, this series was just so good. I can't express it enough. If you haven't seen it, please do. It's really good. Really good. I guess Studio Trigger doesn't really disappoint, huh? With Gurren Lagann which was one of the anime greats, and then they bring this bombshell, which is just as good, if not better, uh, Kill la Kill. I haven't seen Gurren Lagann in a uh, pretty long time, but yeah, Kill la Kill right now is on my mind. Alright guys, check it out, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Sayonara.